So this question is a translate word problem question. So I'm going to read it one sentence at a time, making sure to write down any quantitative information as I read it so that I don't have to go back and reread the question all over again. So the question says, Ken is working this summer as part of a crew on a farm. The next sentence says he earned $8 per hour for the first 10 hours. So $8 per hour for 10 hours. So therefore he made $80, right? Eight times 10. And this is, this is the earnings. So he earns this. Because of his performance, his crew leader raised his salary to $10 per hour. Okay, so started off at $8 per hour, moved up to $10 per hour for the rest of the week. Okay, so rest of the week, that means we don't know, we're not told how many additional hours Ken worked at this higher rate. Then the next sentence says, Ken saves 90% of his earnings from each week. Okay, so I'm gonna make another category down here and say, well, if the top category was for earnings, this is gonna be for saving. So how much did he save for the, from those first 10 hours of work? Well, he saved 90%. 90%, right? So 90% of the $80. So how do I translate that into math? Well, that would be 0 0.9, because percentages on this test are always the decimal form. Of means to multiply, so 0 0.9 times 80. So when I do that math, I get $7.00. No, I'm sorry, I get $72, $72. So that's how much he saved from the first 10 hours. But then he's also going to save 90% of the $10 per hour rate, which means that every hour that he works, 0 0.9 times 10, he's going to be saving $9.00. Right, nine dollars per hour, but again, we don't know how many hours, right? So I don't know what to multiply that by. I don't know how many hours he's working at the ten dollars per hour. The next sentence says, "What is the least number of hours he must work the rest of the week?" Okay, so the question mark, right? Because we know that he worked the ten hours here, but we don't know, right? So what, how many hours did he work for the rest of the week to save at least two hundred and seventy dollars for the week? Okay, so we know that he saved $72, but we want, or so let's say 72 plus some unknown savings equals our 270. So I'm just going to subtract 72 from both sides here. So the unknown amount of savings then becomes, let's just do this, 10 minus two is eight, and borrow again, making that a 16. 16 minus seven is, is nine, bring down the one. So he saved an additional $198. So that's what goes here. Well, not technically, because I said hours, but $198 is what was saved from this rate, the $10 per hour rate. And if he was making $10, if he was making, let's see, if he was if he was saving $9 per hour and got up to a savings of $198, then I can figure out how many hours were worked by just dividing nine into 198. Nine goes into 19 twice. That two times nine is 18. 19 minus 18 is one. Bring down the eight is 18 again. So that makes this a two here, which means it was 22 hours, right? So those 22 hours basically made him an additional $220, which is not important for this question. And out of that, he saved $198. So again, the question is just asking how many hours, how many, what is it, the least number of hours he must work the rest of the week? Well, it has to be those 22 hours, right? So in order to save this additional 198, which would take him up to a total of 270 saved, then he must work an additional 22 hours. So the correct answer here is choice C.